Well, good evening, folks. It's still Saturday. It is now seven o'clock, and I've just come in from the garage after a pleasant hour pottering about with my interceptor, which makes me realise how good the Royal Enfields are, just for the sheer potter factor. Be it polishing your engine casings, um, that's something I've never actually done. Um, I might start. Or just generally pottering. You know, when you're a certain age, I think it's a great bike for that. And tweaking and, you know, basically messing about with bikes. Brilliant. Now, I posted a video a few days ago with an idea invented by Paul B. And it is basically to put a bell mouth carburetor intake onto the fuel injectors um, as he said there's a bit of a gap between the fuel injector and the air box which of course it's not really a gap it's got a, a rubber air a boot there but um, I invested heavily in the precision cutting equipment you can see there um, well I didn't invest that heavily because I actually won that hacksaw in a raffle many years ago um, but I did buy a new blade for it and I found a piece of wood in my garden and what I did was get the aluminium bell mouth I'll put a link in the description of this video to where I bought it from and just by eye sliced it in half and produced those so it's quite thin aluminium it does have gauze on the mouth of it but it's impossible to cut that, it's crimped into the end of the, the larger diameter end of the bell housings, uh, bell intake. So I just pulled it off and sawed it in half and used a, a file just to file off the, the burrs there and it produced these. So there it is. So the object of the exercise really is to simulate a bell mouth carburettor. I know certain people will say, well, it's not a carburettor, it's a fuel injector. Yeah, we know that. It's not a 50 year old bike, but most of them do look old, don't they? That's the thing. It's a retro um, designed bike and it's simulating an older bike whilst being a fantastically usable machine. Um, so the once you've sawn it in half it's too long to fit on the intake boot so again just by eye i marked it and sawed off those bits there and what's left just clips nicely onto the rubber intake boot and it butts up to you know when you get like a uh, the rubber intake boot's got like a flange on it and inside that flange is the jubilee clip type fastener that holds it onto the carburetor or the the fuel injector so once the ends are, are cut off a bit um, it butts nicely up against that and kind of clicks onto it um, but it's paul b drilled a couple of holes in his um, either side and used wire he said to you know basically wire it on to stop it falling off so I drilled a couple of holes in each one there and looked through my useful drawer in my garage which contains nuts and bolts and screws and things that sane people would probably throw in a dustbin years ago but I sling everything in there and it's amazing how you find things you need. But on this occasion I didn't find what I needed uh, which is a nice piece of you know like galvanised wire or stainless steel wire. Um, so I tried using a piece of copper cable. Don't do that, because it's rubbish. Look at it. What a mess. Tying knots in it and everything. Awful. So what I did was I enlarged the holes and I put cable tie through. And the cable tie goes all the way around the intake boot and you just basically hide the you know the big square bit on a cable tie and the end result was wait for it fanfare of trumpets this i love it well done paul it's a i, I think it's great on my bike i know some people you know will say well what's the point we know it's a fuel yeah we know it's a fuel injector uh yeah but i like that and so does paul and if you look at that black band on the left hand side of the bell housing thing 
um, bell intake, you'll see there's a, a black band there. That's the cable tie. It goes all the way around and look at that. I think it's great. And I sincerely wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> well done, Paul. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So I have done exactly what Paul did. There it is. So it's basically a carburetor simulator. And there it, there it is. Straight on, takes about an hour. And the whole thing, I think, with the Royal Enfields and pottering about with them, you don't rush it, do you? You just kind of enjoy the process and, you know, it's that kind of bike, kind of chilled and, you know, you don't go rushing at things. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I just, I, I really do like it. I know um, I received an email from somebody, heaven knows why they even bothered to send it, because um, I put my email address in all my videos, uh, including this one. And they sent me a video and they said, your bike is, is rubbish because it's a fake bike. Well, thanks for that. Um, it didn't feel that fake when I came home from work at 85 miles an hour on it, getting about 70 to the gallon. Um, you know? So, yeah, it's a fake bike and that's a fake carburetor. But I love it on my bike. And... Uh, Thank you, Paul, for sending me the photos. Credit due to you for what I think is a great cosmetic mod. I love it. And there you have it. So, in the meantime, take care, everybody, if you're out on your bikes. Uh, there's not a day goes by that I go out on mine where something does not happen. I don't know what's happened to driving standards these days. I went to the post office this morning to send a load of parcels off. Uh, you know, and the again, somebody just, you know, pulls out, uh, roundabout, doesn't look, looks as if it's my fault. Um, I don't get angry, I don't get frustrated, I don't do like they do on these videos. Have you seen them on YouTube where people, bikers go mad and giving people the finger and shouting and what? No, 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 I don't bother doing that. I just think, well, there you go. So it happened again this morning. Um, however, no bless oblige, as they say. Stay cool, don't react, it's just the norm. So there you have it, enough ranting from me. There's that mod. Thanks again to Paul B. I love it. Let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.